a tutorial. Um, it was a paint.net tutorial. So I'm just going to use an old sketch that I have. Fun. And so you open it. Uh, and create a new layer. Set it the properties to. Well, first fill it in with white. Then set properties to multiply so you can see your sketch. Just don't ask, just do it. And then I set the opacity a little lower on the sketch so it's easier to tell what layer you're on and you're not doing it wrong because that sucks. So take the line tool. It has a special name. I call it line tool. And then click and drag, make your line, grab the little dots, make it follow the curve of your sketch. And then, once you have a piece of hair done, or whatever it is you're doing, take right click and do white, and then you make the edges a little sharper. It just makes it look cool, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. So you keep doing that. This part's boring. Yeah, that line sucked. <laughs> keep doing that. Yeah. I could go for some sushi. That sounds really good right now. Um, I'm gonna skip the rest, but I'm assuming you know how to do line art or no one's even watching this. Either way, who cares? Okay. So now if there's not enough room, you can, like here, you can put it on a new layer so you don't have to erase some lines and do it again. Because who wants to do that? So you create a new layer, then put your line. Fun, fun, fun. Till your daddy takes the T bird away. Yeah, and then you have to set it to multiplier else this happens. You don't want that to happen, I guess. So we'll multiply. And then you make the line sharp fun so so fun no, there's okay so now I have my line art done yay rude sketch is all nice and clean yay so you duplicate the layer and then I name it I need one line art just so I know to keep that one. So I don't accidentally delete it or merge it. Then the other one, I you have to put it under the line art. Then I name that one color. Crazy idea, I know. And then use the magic wand tool. Set the thing to zero. And then turn it to global or whatever that is. And select black. It has to be the black, not just some outside line. Then control I to invert selection. Then delete. And now it kind of looks like MS Paint. <laughs> you might have to go around. Well, you probably will have to go around and like fill in little gaps here with the pencil tool. And then. Wee, this is fun. It's kind of like a puzzle or a game. You have to find the little missing links. You know? Or maybe I'm just too positive. Then I have to. Oh, crap. Uh. Hmm, where is it? See, it's so fun! Gosh! Uh. Oh, there it is. Dee hee. Gotcha. And then now you should. Crap. Oh, wait. Uh. Another one? What the heck? I'm such a. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's on global. Okay. You have to turn it back to the Karma's Niv thing. I don't remember what it's called. So now you should be able to fill it and it won't go everywhere. So you just use a paint bucket and then you're good. And you just keep doing that and then you have black color. Mm, yeah, how fun.